hello everybody welcome back to my channel on today's video i'll be showing you how to draft a pencil skirt pattern so this pencil skirt is very very easy to make the tools you are going to be needing for this tutorial are a fabric marker your pattern paper your measuring tape hip curve scissors and of course a pen the measurements you are going to be needing for this tutorial are your waist circumference, your hip circumference, and the length of the skirt. You can determine how long you want this to be. So to start with, you are going to mark one inch from the edge of the pattern paper. This is particularly going to serve as a guide to insert your other measurements. As you can see here, I'm marking one inch from the edge of the paper and then I'm going to connect it into a straight line. So the next step is for us to get the length of the skirt. To get the length, you measure from that one inch, that line you made at the top of the paper to how long you want, how long or short you want it to be. Like for me, I'm using 27 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and mark from that line on top of the fabric to 27 inches. Next, you have to determine where your hip line is. Like for me, my hip line is 8 inches from the top of the pattern paper. So I'm marking 8 inches and I'm going to join to draw these markings into a straight line. After drawing it to a straight line, I'm going to go ahead and label what each line is actually for so I don't get confused at the end of the day. So I'm going ahead to label correctly. Like the first one is the waistline, so I'm going to label that. And the second line is the hip line. This is going to be where I will insert my waist measurement divided by 4 and my hip measurement divided by 4. Always note that your circumference measurements like your waist, your hip and your bust are supposed to be divided into 4 to get the accurate measurement. So I'm going to divide my hip measurements by four, like I said, and the waist measurement by four. So the waist measurement, I'm going to insert on the first line on top as I'm doing here. So for this skirt, we are going to be having that. So uh, my waist measurement divided by four plus one inch for that that's what i'm marking on the waist so i divided my waist measurement by four and then i added an extra one inch allowance for the dart so the same i'm doing exactly the same for the waist i divided i mean my hip i divided my hip measurements by four and then i added half an inch for ease Note that the half an inch you are adding to the hip for ease is very important because you don't want your skirt to be too tight after sewing. So you need that half an inch ease on the hip. And then remember that if you are adding that to your skirt, you always have to add one inch on the waist measurement. For instance, if your waist is a, your waist measurement divided by four is six. So Instead of marking 6, you just mark 7 inches on the waist so as to get the waist measurement and the extra dart allowance. Please note that is very important. So I'm going to, what you do is from the hip line, you are going to measure the same thing you measured on the hip at the new side. That is at the full length. So I'm going ahead to draw a straight line from my hip line to the nail line. So as you can see, I'm connecting the line carefully. So this is the same thing you have to do. So honestly, this is the pattern for 
a straight skirt if you don't want the skirt to be penciled you can just stop here and then put your that and that all but if you want it to be pencil like this one we are doing here you have to now from your new side you minus one inch for me i removed one inch from the new side but if you are a very curvy person like you have big hips and all that you can remove two inches from the knee side to show your curve but if you know you are not a very curvy person like me i'm not that i'm not a very curvy person so that's why i'm removing one inch on the knee but if you are curvy you can remove two inches and then connect a straight line like i have done here so i'm just cancelling or marking out the one inch to indicate that yes we don't need this part anymore that we are going to be cutting it off so the next up is for me to insert the darts so to insert the darts you find the midpoint of your waist remember we added one inch for that so you find the middle point on the waist line like i'm doing here so when you find your middle the middle or the midpoint of the waistline you go down by four inches remember your your front this is the front pattern that we are working on so the the that is four inches long as i'm doing here so you find the midpoint and draw a straight line to about four inches so on that line you remove half an inch on each side of the line that is to make the one inch you added for the dart. I don't know if you understand. I mean, you remove half an inch on each side of the dart line to make one inch that you added for the dart. So the dart is basically the last thing to do for the front pattern. As you can see, the pattern is already looking like a skirt, a pencil skirt already. So the next thing is just for us to cut it out and you see how it looks after the cutting. But before that, I'm going to first of all indicate that this is the front pattern. Because I'm going to be using this front to cut the back. So you always have to indicate so you don't get confused. Write down what you need to write. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the front pattern and show you what it looks like. Like I said before, I'm going to be using this front pattern to cut the back pattern. So yeah, I'm going to cut it out and show you what it, it looks like. So guys, this is the front pattern. It's so, so beautiful. I like it. So yeah, the, um, the, the difference, you have to note that the difference between the front and the back pattern is the zip part. So I'm going to add one inch zip allowance for the back you have to take note of this because it's very important you have to add extra one inch for the back pattern the back pattern is usually bigger than the front because it's the, at the back you insert the zip so i've gone ahead and i've added my one inch zip allowance so i'm going to go ahead and trace off the front pattern on the back part to cut it out so as you can see i'm tracing it off transferring my notches ensure you note your hip line so because you are going to see need this for the back so just transfer your markings from the first from the front to the back
so i'm doing the exact same thing i did for the front pattern for the back so i'm going to insert the back that now for the back that you are going to also find the middle but the difference is that instead of finding the full middle you are not going to measure that zip side it's just the waist so you measure the waist minus the zip allowance you find the middle and then the length of the dart for the back is five inches so i'm basically doing the exact same thing i did for the front i'm going to uh, measure the five inches for the dart length and then at, at the end i'll minus half an inch from each side just to get the one inch i added for the dart and then that's basically it just exactly the same thing i did for the back the difference is that the length of the back that is five inches and then you are not going to include the zip parts for your when finding the middle it's just the exact waist you measured like the exact front waist without the zip part yes so that is how you get your back that so yeah that's what i'm doing find the back that and that's basically almost it so like i said before this thing this um, pencil skirt is very easy to make very very easy it's not difficult at all so you can give it a try and if and if you try it just let me know in the comment section just if you share it on social media you can tag me so i can see what you did and so the next thing i'm going to do is to cut this thing cut it out and show you both the front and the back how it came out how it looks so stay tuned note that to use this pattern you have to cut unfold what i mean is for you to use this pattern to cut out your skirt you have to fold your fabric into two if you don't fold it into two that means you have to cut twice especially the back but for the front you must fold it into two to cut but the front you can decide the back you can you can decide not to fold and cut twice so yeah this is the final look of the pencil skirt pattern in my next video i'll be using this pattern to cut out a pencil skirt thank you so much for watching i love you bye